Bamboo can be utilized as a building material as for scaffolding, bridges, and houses. Bamboo, like true wood, is a natural composite material with a high strength to weight ratio useful for structures. Bamboo has a higher compressive strength than wood, brick or concrete and a tensile strength that rivals steel. Bamboos are some of the fastest growing plants in the world, due to a unique rhizome dependent system. Certain species of bamboo can grow 35 inches slash 890 millimeters within a 24 hour period, at a rate of 0.0. 0.00003 km slash h, the growth of approximately 1 mm, or 0.02 inches, every 2 minutes. In its natural form, bamboo as a construction material is traditionally associated with the cultures of South Asia, East Asia and the South Pacific, to some extent in Central and South America, and by extension in the aesthetic of Tiki culture. In China and India, bamboo was used to hold up simple suspension bridges, either by making cables of split bamboo, or twisting whole combs of sufficiently pliable bamboo together. One such bridge in the area at Zion is referenced in writings dating back to 960 AD, and may have stood, since as far back as the 3rd century BC, due largely to continuous maintenance. Bamboo has also long been used as scaffolding, the practice has been banned in China for buildings over six stories, but is still in continuous use for skyscrapers in Hong Kong. In the Philippines, the Nipah hut is a fairly typical example of the most basic sort of housing where bamboo is used, the walls are split and woven bamboo, and bamboo slats and poles may be used as its support. In Japanese architecture, bamboo is used primarily as a supplemental and or decorative element in buildings such as fencing, fountains, grates and gutters, largely due to the ready abundance of quality timber. Various structural shapes may be made, by training the bamboo, to assume them as it grows. Squared sections of bamboo are created, by compressing the growing stalk within a square form. Arches may similarly be created, by forcing the bamboo's growth into the desired form, costing much less than it would to obtain the same shape with regular wood timber. More traditional forming methods, such as the application of heat and pressure, may also be used to curve or flatten the cut stalks. Bamboo can be cut and laminated into sheets and planks. This process involves cutting stalks into thin strips, planing them flat, and boiling and drying the strips. They are then glued, pressed and finished. Long used in China and Japan, entrepreneurs started developing and selling laminated bamboo flooring in the West during the mid-1990s. Products made from bamboo laminate, including flooring, cabinetry, furniture and even decorations, are currently surging in popularity, transitioning from the boutique market to mainstream providers such as Home Depot. The bamboo goods industry, which also includes small goods, fabric, etc., is expected to be worth $25 billion by 2012. The quality of bamboo laminate varies among manufacturers and varies according to the maturity of the plant from which it was harvested, six years being considered the optimum. The sturdiest products fulfill their claims of being up to three times harder than oak hardwood, while others may be softer than standard hardwood. Bamboo intended for use in construction, should be treated to resist insects and rot. The most common solution for this purpose is a mixture of borax and boric acid. Another process involves boiling, cut bamboo to remove the starches that attract insects. Bamboo has been used as reinforcement for concrete in those areas where it is plentiful, though dispute exists over its effectiveness in the various studies done on the subject. Bamboo does have the necessary strength to fulfill this function, but untreated bamboo will swell with water, absorbed from the concrete, causing it to crack. Several procedures must be followed to overcome this shortcoming. Several institutes, businesses, and universities are researching the use of bamboo as an ecological construction material. In the United States and France, it is possible to get houses made entirely of bamboo, which are earthquake and cyclone resistant and internationally certified. There are three ISO standards for bamboo as a construction material. In parts of India, 
bamboo is used for drying clothes indoors, both as a rod high up near the ceiling to hang clothes on, and as a stick wielded with acquired expert skill to hoist, spread, and to take down the clothes when dry. It is also commonly used to make ladders, which apart from their normal function, are also used for carrying bodies and funerals. In Maharashtra, the bamboo groves and forests are called Velavana. The name Velu for bamboo is most likely from Sanskrit, while Vanal means forest. Furthermore, bamboo is also used to create flagpoles for saffron colored Hindu religious flags, which can be seen fluttering across India, especially in Bihar and Uttar Pradesh, as well as in Guyana and Suriname in South America. Bamboo was used for the structural members of the India Pavilion at Expo 2010 in Shanghai. The pavilion is the world's largest bamboo dome, about 34 meters, 112 feet, in diameter, with bamboo bamboo beans slash members overlaid with a ferro-concrete slab, waterproofing, copper plate, solar PV panels, a small windmill, and live plants. Bamboo was used for gates, fence, roofs, walls, floors, columns, and beams on building construction. In Kerala bamboos are used for building and boathouse constructions. It also used to construct the heritage houses and restaurants. A total of 30 kilometers, 19 miles, of bamboo was used. The dome is supported.